first let me just tell you how we're going to be looking at the things. The MRI scan is nice in the sense that it allows us to take pictures of the brain kind of in a, a, a slice or cross section. There's an area of, of whiteness there on the left. It's back in the parietal lobe. And then we get here and up high on the left in the front area, there's another one of those areas of whiteness, white smudginess. To me, this looks like a fairly typical study of a brain that has been knocked around. So, no brain tumors, no strokes, no abnormal tangles of blood vessels, no large areas of brain circuitry missing. So, that's good news. A simple mistake of catching the football and landing in the shallow end because he misjudged the depth of the pool. I remember the impact being very loud. It was like a, a bomb had gone off. And I knew I hit my head hard enough that I was uh, hurt. The force of the impact triggers billions of neurons to release chemicals in the brain. These neurotransmitters are how neurons send signals, but a flood of meaningless signals burns out brain cells. I went over to see Rick, my best friend, and that had known me for years and years. For some reason, I, I felt compelled to sit down at the keyboard. Derek had never played the piano before. And I just began to play. <laughs> Stephen Wilchie has an incredible gift. The London-based artist is able to draw stunningly detailed landscapes all from memory. Sydney, London, Los Angeles, he's drawn them all. Now he's conquering his biggest city yet, New York. New York City is a nice, beautiful place. Squared avenues, tallest story buildings skyscrapers and the Empire State Building is my, my favorite. Wiltshire, who has autism, is currently drawing a 20-foot panorama of Manhattan after just a short helicopter ride over the city. The artist admits it's hard work and says he listens to music to stay motivated. He's the world's most famous savant. A confounding mix of mental disability and brilliance. <laughs> Kim's remarkable brain became the real-life inspiration for the character of Raymond Babbitt yes. in the movie Rain Man. Sally Gibbs Gibbs Sally, 4610092. How did you know my phone number? How did you know that? She said read the telephone book last night. Gibbs Sally, 4610092. I was born on March the 9th, 1962. It was a Friday. Kim was born with severe brain damage, but with his disability came an astonishing gift, a photographic memory. Like other savants, the mechanism of his condition is poorly understood. Kim's brain, no left brain, no right brain. He has one hemisphere, doesn't have any separation, and total absence to the corpus callosum, which is, has to be a filtering system. And he has no filtering system, so instead of 45% to 50% that, his, that yours and my brain keeps, he keeps in about 98%. Against all the odds, Kim Peake learned to read. Books and the unquenchable thirst for knowledge came to dominate his world. Last president of the Soviet Union was who? Gorbachev. Longest serving leader of the Soviet Stalin. Union. Stalin. Oh, this is hard. Identify the famous son of Pepin the Short. Carloman. The City Library is Kim Peake's second home, and for good reason. He's already read about 9,000 books.